Hey y'all, what's up? I hope y'all had a wonderful day. I hope everybody is doing well. I have a lovely message for everybody and it's gonna be real good, fulfilling to your heart, your mind, and your spirit. And you know, we gotta pray first, but I just wanna make sure that y'all are starting to get in that practice of waking up and fellowship of God because what I do in the morning, I wake up and I kind of lounge in the bed a little bit and, you know, silently speak to God, like not really moving my lips or anything, but just within my spirit having like this dialogue with God, just thanking him and praying on certain things, worshiping him, just like really getting my day started because this is so important because it's like before we can even open our eyes most of the time, like problems and worries and stresses and the heaviness of the world is already attacking us. But if we begin to get in this practice of when you wake up, just really like fill your spirit with God by just having a conversation with him and telling him how you feel and, you know, things that you may need help with or what's going on in your life and just asking him for strength and peace and, you know, being grateful for him and just welcoming him into your day, it it really like is like coffee. It's like a a breath of fresh air when you wake up and you can have that conversation. So I pray that y'all are beginning to do that. And you know, the first day it may be awkward, the second day it may still be funny. But if you continue to give yourself t that time and just continue to practice it, because before you know it, it'll be a habit. It'll be part of your behavior in the morning. So let's get to the message. And you know, but we got to pray first, y'all. And then after that, we'll get to the message. God, I love you. And I just thank you, Jesus. I just thank you for your love and your grace and your mercy, Jesus. I thank you for the people that are beginning to rise up and seek you and beginning to fill you in their hearts and beginning to fill you in their minds and in their spirits and just beginning to yield to you, God. I just ask that you just continue to comfort us, God, that you just continue to reveal the knowledge of your will in our life, God. And I pray that we just welcome you into every part of our lives, that we begin to walk by faith and not by sight, that we begin to embrace that peace that's beyond understanding and it begins to allow that wisdom and knowledge and understanding to rest within us, God. I love you, God, and I ask that you just have your way with this message and you use me as a vessel to tell to tell your truth and not my opinion or not my facts, but you just touch us exactly where we need to be touched so that we can, so that the truth can be revealed to us, God, because sometimes it's right there, but we're not seeing it because we have blurred vision. So I ask that you just bring your clarity, God, and help us see through your eyes and hear through your ears. I love you, Jesus, and amen. So today the scripture is coming from Hebrews chapter 13 and 8. And it says, Jesus Christ, the same yesterday and today and forever. And this is like, it is what it is. Like it is saying that Jesus Christ is who he is, who he was and who is who he's going to be. Like he is not going to change. And this is so important because it gives us stability. That's why having God as our foundation is so good because he's stable. Jesus is who he is today the same person he was yesterday and will continue to be that person forever. So when you begin to surrender your life to Jesus Christ and to God and welcome the Holy Spirit in your life, just know this is something that's going to be stable, a stable foundation so that you can build upon it. It's a rock. It's not like you're building your emotions and your mind and your spirit and your finances and your physicality of your body on sand where it's being at risk to sink and crumble, but you're building it on a rock, something that's strong, something that is sure. 
So to me, that should really ease it. And I know it sounds funny because we can't see Jesus. We can't see God. We can't see the Holy Spirit. But he is more rare, real than the people that you actually can see with your eyes. He is more real, real than anything that you can experience with your five senses. So this scripture saying Jesus Christ the same yesterday and today and forevermore should really bring a sense of peace, should really bring a sense of like gratitude in your life to know that there is someone, a spirit, the creator of all that is the same. That is the same because if you think about the relationships that's outside of God, it's up and down because we have emotions. You know, people like you when you making them feel good, but then when you switch up, then they don't know too much. They they unsure about you. And, you know, we all are funny. You know, when it's hot, it when it's hot, it's too hot. We can't wait till it cool off. Then when it's cold, it's too cold. We can't wait till it get hot. You know, we always were just up and down. We have these feelings that's that's a that's very fickle you know when people when you when you're lovable they love you when you're unlovable then they don't want to have nothing to do with you you know people are so inconsistent we're so conditional to our environment or to our feelings but we're conditional god's love jesus christ's love the holy spirit love is unconditional God is going to have grace and mercy on you no matter what. God is going to love you no matter what. And he is available to you 100%. Just because I have God 100%, that don't mean that he's going to be available for you to you at 85. We all get the full connection of God. It's just that we have to make this relationship intentional. So I hope you guys begin to embody this and really begin to understand how important and how a gift God it really is to us. It's like truly a gift because we have someone, Jesus Christ, that is going to be the same no matter what. No matter how low you fall, no matter how horrible of a person or how worthless or how enough you may not feel, Jesus Christ is going to be the same. So that's why I'm always saying like this relationship requires work, like it requires action because Jesus Christ is going to be who he is. So it requires you to trust him. It requires you to have faith in him. It requires you to step out and surrender it all to him because it's stable ground. But I know, you know, we have fear. You know, like I say, it's like, you know, having that faith, walking on that water is rocky. It's like, oh my God, I don't think I could stand on water. But God, Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit is going to be there to catch you. So I just pray that y'all really embody this, embody it, because I know it's hard to comprehend, but really embody, embody it. Don't compare it to, don't compare Jesus Christ to man. Men change Monday. A person may be one day, one way, Tuesday, they may be one way. It's okay. But God love Jesus Christ. He is the same all the time, no matter what. He is faithfully faithful. So I love y'all so much and I will talk to y'all in the next video. Mwah.